So what you get is you get your base, which is where everything kind of happens. It's where you secure your wood on with this clamp here. It's where you put your angle block on. You can do up to inch and a half, so you can really only do up to two by four material. But I'll put a link a video in the description below so you can check out um, how to do four by four posts. You also get this handy drill bit with a step down and a collet on it so you can't drill too far. I'll show you how to set that up. You get this square drive bit. Now you can get replacement ones of these on Amazon or if you go into a Lowe's or Home Depot. You also get this handy Craig instruction manual and all I really use this for is making sure I've got the right screw type for the thickness of wood that I'm using. So depending on length or depending on type of wood, hard wood or soft wood, you're going to want to get a coarse or fine screw and the correct length. So that tells you which um, screw you need. Also, you'll notice that I do have my um, pocket hole jig on these two 2x3s and I just have that there. It saves me having to clamp it down sometimes. Sometimes I don't have a place to actually use my pocket hole jig. Now, it would be nice to have a, a setup where I can leave it there permanently, but I don't have that. So I've got this, so it means I can move it around and it's supported enough that it doesn't tip over. So you get a 2x6 in here and it's, say, 6 foot long. It is going to want to kind of twist over, but this stops that from happening. So I've got this 2x6 here that I'm going to use for um, demonstration purposes. Uh, if I'm going to be using this on a project, I will mark where I want the pocket holes to go with a cross because you don't want to end up with a pocket hole on the wrong side. So it's very easy to clamp this into place. You just slot it down like so and then clamp it like that. Now that's in place. So now comes the most important part on the setup procedure, and that is to set up the drill bit to the right depth. Now we are using an inch and a half here, which is a little bit difficult to see. So we'll base it on an inch and a quarter on the setup. And now the shoulder of the drill bit, you want that to line up with the inch and a quarter line here. Now, if we were drilling an inch and a quarter line there, I could tighten this collar up down here, and that would drill a perfect hole. Now we're going through inch and a half here, so it's two by six, so you basically have to push that all the way up because that's where the inch and a half setting is. Then you just tighten the collar up like so. Now that's in the correct position to drill. Now if you do get this jig, it can be a little bit confusing as to where the inch and a half um, stop is meant to be. Now you just have to look at the other side, and the other side actually has an inch and three eighths over here. So obviously, inch and a half has to be further down the channel than inch and three eighths. So you just want to make sure that you've got that all the way down as far as it can go, and that will make sure that you drill your hole perfectly. So I will link the Craig pocket hole jig that I'm using here in the description below, and a couple other options so you can go and review them and check out and see if any of them are good for you. Now I have my drill, I've got it set to the drill setting and I'm just going to drill through and I don't have to do anything else. This is now set up to perfectly um, drill the hole so that the pocket hole screw can go in and join these two pieces of wood together. So this is what you end up with, you end up with an oval hole and then you actually have a little screw hole right down there which is where the tip of the drill bit goes through and that's why it's important to set it up correctly because you don't want that step too low because the corresponding screw for this thickness of wood it may end up going too far through then you end up with a screw poking out the other side which is just not very good so you want to make sure that you don't um, drill too far down and make sure you've got everything set up so that's why I like to do a little test of piece. So now I have my screwdriver bit, my square drive, and my drill. I've got my drill set to the screw function. I've got the clutch set to 12. Now you will have to change that depending on the wood you're drilling into. If it's hardwood, you're going to want to have that set in higher. If it's soft like this, you're going to want to have a lower set. So you can get this pre-started before putting your wood together. But all I like to do is you just hold that over like that, and then you can just screw it in. And it goes in really easily like that and you don't have to do too much. Now if you could clamp the bits of wood together, that really does help out. It 
helps you with the force and you can push against something always try and push against something try and push down let gravity help you out there and you can get really good tight joints now i can just pick this up like so and you'll see that's just got one in there and how tight that is i can't even turn that and that's just one screw it didn't come through the other side because we had the setting set correctly and that's it, that is how easy it is. There you have it, if you're a beginner woodworking, you're wondering how you're gonna join two pieces of wood together, the Craig K4 pocket hole jig or any other pocket hole jig is a great method for you to create some great pieces of furniture. I'll make sure I've got up a few pictures so you can see the furniture that I've made. But with all that being said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or concerns, leave them in the description below. With that all being said, if you're not already, smash that subscribe button for more videos coming up soon.